1607. Uh, when he came in, you know, there were mountains of oysters all over the bay. Mountains. Uh, and people were harvesting them. Native Americans ate oysters. We know that because what did they leave behind? All the shells, midden piles all around the bay region. Uh, we know where they used to hang out. Uh, but eventually, we started taking more and more and more and had technology and metal tools like this where if we drag this across a mountain of, of oysters over and over again, it flattens them down and it puts them all the way on the bottom. What have we found as far as water quality? Where's the healthiest water? At the top. And so if you start pushing them down towards the bottom, a hard rain, they can get buried. Or in the summertime, when the oxygen levels, they're high up top, they're not so high at the bottom, you could potentially kill the oyster. They are, have now been pushed down to the bottom because we flattened out their reefs. Uh, and we got to bring them back because oysters, are they a filter? Yes. yes. Big time natural filter, big time habitat, uh, big time industry, uh, huge. You now just rinse this off. Uh, and then build our own oyster reef in here. This uh, is a good example of how oysters grow. If you look and see them all stacked up in there. What was the little inky thing? Is it a mud Oh, I don't like it. Something's growing on this. Uh, there are the eggs, I think. Uh, and there's, yeah, there's the Oh, there it is. These, like sort of soft spots on here, those are anemones. As we leave them in the water, they'll open up. What is it? It's a baby, baby crab. Oh, wow. Oh, man, that is tiny. They won't come out right now, probably, because they, they can sense that they're out of the water. Water's getting high. Yeah, it's fine. John, does this sanctuary reef have a name? I think it's just the Fort Carroll Reef. And in fact, it hadn't ha gotten much attention, but now uh, there's a plan to expand it and put almost a million oysters here a year uh, for five years. Uh, there's a big, from CBF specifically, a big push to get you know, oysters into the harbor. Do you know how much it's grown? Like, when did they start? It's been, yeah. Yeah, it, I mean, I was gonna. It's twenty, some twenty plus years. People have been putting oysters here, but it's not growing. Uh, it might go up a little bit off the bottom, but every time I've ever planted, like you want to put them close, and it's not like anyone's ever been very methodical about. Oh, this year we'll plant them here, and this year we'll plant them here. Now, uh, ENR's help. It's like they just did a survey this year. That looks like the place to put the new ones, and then. Next year and years following, they're actually going to uh, put clam shells or granite down on the other side of the fort and make an acre. That this is where it goes. And then eventually, Living Classroom CBF will keep, we can keep playing around here and then leave that alone. So uh, we made an oyster reef. You guys are still picking through the catch, but you can see the sort of structure or the habitat that creates. Uh, so pretty awesome, all those nooks and crannies in there, uh, and all the different animals we've seen just, you know, with our naked eyes, like those worm, polychaete worms, mud crabs, uh, the mussels, anemones will open up. Uh, there's other colony forming things called bryozoans on there, hydroids. I mean, it goes on and on. There are literally hundreds of creatures that live on an oyster reef. Uh, so just having that structure out there for things to grow on. Uh, is awesome, but hold on to your hat, get your handkerchief out, tie your shoes on tight because I'm going to knock your socks off then. <laughs> we only have about 2% of the oysters we should. Uh, where'd they all go? Where'd they all go? We ate some of them, some of them got buried, we lost their habitat, bad water quality. Uh, the boat's gonna rock around a little bit. There's some waves coming. Some waves. Uh, so all of those things have led to us, you know, where we are now at about two percent. I we just had a meeting down in Virginia with some uh, other CBF staff, and there was 
there's someone there who works in oyster restoration, and she wanted to say the number was closer to a five or ten percent, uh, which is great because you know you're always looking for something positive. There are rivers down there that she showed us pictures of that they are ready to walk away from in the next year or so because it has been restored. Uh, there's there's not much more they can do. What does it look like? It it would look like oysters growing on the side of this fort. It would there were oyst there will be oysters growing on pilings. Oysters all over the place that you didn't put there. So when they spawn, uh, their babies will attach to whatever substrate they can get a hold of, and on and on. Uh, what does it look like now? I mean, very focused. We're putting a reef here. We're putting a reef here, kind of thing. Uh, 